Okay, let's move on to phone hacking. Um, a, a poor investigation, incredibly close links to, to News International, um, two of the most senior police officers forced to resign. Uh, just give us a sense of the, of the crisis that the Metropolitan Police is facing this morning. Well, first of all, um, the, the Metropolitan Police has huge strength in depth. So there are some outstanding leaders who have taken up the helm and will continue to deliver policing. My sense is, of course, 140,000 police officers in this country are looking at this and are clearly worried. They need very quickly new leadership to be put in, and I see the advertisement has already gone out. So there's a plan in place. Policing is a very resilient organisation. We will continue to protect the citizen. I'm deeply concerned about this suggestion that 140,000 cops out there are taking uh, payments. It's the most bizarre suggestion I've heard. We're one of the least corrupt police services. But we're not complacent around that. And indeed, Her Majesty's Inspector but is looking at that in a very detailed and focused way. And we need to look at the outcome to form a clear view on just how the, what the challenges are facing this police service. But there is some corruption. It's been investigated. There will be some people who potentially will be uh, arrested and jailed for this. How, how does the Met restore confidence without having some kind of you know, formal demonstration of it like that? By continuing to deliver the service the public of London expect and require. If one looks at confidence in policing, it's at far higher stat level than it, has. it was, for example, when I joined. So let's not lose our nerve here. We need to put the right structures in above it because the officers look for leadership. That's yeah. clear. But you saw the chief, the chief officer of the police service of this country, Sir Paul Stevenson, saying, look, this happened on my watch. I am responsible. I am therefore, it's on my watch, I am resigning. Compare that with Rupert Murdoch, complete yeah. denial of any responsibility but you think, of his organisation. you think a couple of resignations is enough to restore confidence? No, I do not think that. I think the public will judge us on how we deliver frontline police service day in and day out. And speaking to a chief officer only yesterday, still crime is falling, confidence in policing continues to be... We must not be complacent, but let's not create a crisis that currently does not exist. But do you not need to see the people who... the policemen who have done wrong here charged, convicted and go to jail to convince people of your argument that the wider force is fine, there is no endemic corruption. Here. Without question, I have zero tolerance of any officer that steps outside that line, regardless of their rank, whether they're a sworn officer or indeed a member of support staff supporting policing. There is a zero tolerance of that and this inquiry, or one of the many inquiries, will look precisely mm. at that. And I think that when we look at that inquiry and we but see what needs, the findings it are... it needs some prosecution. Is it feasible we're going to see them? Well, I think this inquiry will pursue that to the ends of the world. Absolutely. Every police officer patrolling the streets this morning expect any corrupt officer that lets the side down, that does huge damage to policing, to be locked up and the key thrown away. Uh, 